When I was born, I have this condition called Tetralogy of Furlough. From what my mom told me, I have surgery at two months and another one when I was four years old. Obviously, I knew about the scar, but I didn't know exactly what it was. But unfortunately for me, I never follow up with a cardiologist during my childhood into adulthood. So when I was pregnant, they noticed that, you know, the flow in my heart was reduced. I didn't find out about like, you know, how severe my condition was until I was probably 28 weeks pregnant that I had to start seeing a cardiologist regularly. Initially with her in utero, they didn't catch anything. Anytime we did sonograms, she would always turn away from the camera. So that's why we never caught it until she was born. Um, and then, you know, they take her to do every cardio, like the, the echoes and things like that. That's when they caught her VSD. So I figured, you know, with Celine having this, when we found out, oh, it's fine, it'll close on its own. But then after further tests were performed on her, they said it's not one of those that will, she's going to need surgery. They said her surgery went very well. Um, her recovery was quick in terms of like her being in the hospital. Um, and I think it was only, she was in surgery on a Thursday, we left Sunday. You would never guess that she had a hole in her heart, that she had to, um, have surgery and that she was on six to eight weeks of sternal precaution. They wanted me to also get uh, surgery as well to repair the pulmonary artery. And so I did that back in June. You want some strawberries? Strawberries. Because we experienced such good care at University of Maryland, I would recommend anybody just go there, you know, even if it is out of the way. So you're like me who doesn't believe that you have any problems, um, but you you know that you have this congenital heart issue, find someone, continue to see a doctor.